despite what many may think, you can still make a profit inside your hideout with crafting. And you can do this even without an Intel Level Center 3. Now it's a little bit more difficult, obviously, especially now with the anti-RMT changes that are in place that are causing flea market fees to be really, really high on most goods. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. And if you have it until center level three, there's actually quite a few things you can do to still make money in the hideout. We're gonna go through each module. I'll explain the best crafts in each module for profit, sprinkle in a few additional tips, and we'll get you on your way to making as much money as you can in your hideout. Now, the first place we're gonna start out here is the med station. Now, when it makes sense, I'm gonna switch back and forth between having the Intel 3 and not, so that even if you aren't higher level and you don't have the Intel 3, you can see what you need to do to make money here. Now, starting off with the med station, really the only thing you can do is pile of meds. Shoot for about 16,000 on your Augmentin, get your bandages and AI2s from Therapist, and then sell your meds for 16,000 or more. Without Intel 3, it'll net you about 12,000 an hour. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn on Intel 3 here and show you what you're gonna do bumps you up to about 33,000 an hour. So you can see how big of an effect impact Intel 3 can have, especially now. And that's because it reduces your flea market fee. Uh, the base is 30%, but if you have max hideout management like me, it reduces it by 45%. That's a pretty big cut in uh, that cost in crafting. So pretty simply, that's all there is at the med station. We'll move over to the nutrition unit here and talk. Now, if you don't have an Intel level three here, you really can't craft anything to make money. If you have used water bottles, like let's say you're drinking a water bottle and you drink it down to one of 60 and you do that with five of them, uh, then you can craft Aquamarines and you can make a little bit of money. Aside from that, you really need Intel level three. Once you get Intel level three, you do have some options here. Now, the key here is to sell vodka high. Sometimes you gotta sit around a little bit, but I usually do pretty good selling them 10 at a time. I list for 32,000 and I just ignore them. That'll let you right around 12, 13,000 rubles an hour. Uh, a lot more if you can get your moonshine cheaper, but it's kind of been all over the place today. But you can even make money with uh, just crafting regular water bottles. Try to get your super water for like 63, 64,000. Then you list your water for, what's it, 12,400 or whatever it is, just under therapist, and they'll sell pretty quickly. It's not a ton of profit, but it's a little bit, uh, five, 6,000 an hour. Just another thing you can do. Now, kind of with this is the booze generator um, and the water collector booze generator, you just can't make money with. It doesn't matter, even if you have Intel level three, you just can't do it. But if you do get sugar out of raid, non fountain raid, because it's in your secure container, this is one of the best uses for it. Now, as far as the water collector is concerned, it's easy money. Just throw your water in there, sell your super water, and you're gonna make anywhere from six to maybe 8,000 rubles an hour. Now, from here, we'll move over to the Intel Center. And this one's pretty interesting because you're not actually gonna make money here with the flea market. You're gonna either barter or sell everything to the traders. So the first thing we'll talk about is the VPX. Uh, it sells to therapist for 96,000. So you're gonna put about 160 to 170,000 into this and then sell that to therapist for about 192,000. So right around 30,000 in profit, just selling straight to her. Now, flash drives are kind of along the same line. You're gonna craft these. Uh, you can sell them for 55,000 if you want. You make a little bit of money, but you actually make quite a bit more. Um, and I'll show you here. We'll buy, let me just buy three of them real quick to show you. We'll buy these three. Um, and then you come into Jaeger and it's a level one barter with him. Get a dog tag case, take that dog tag case, and then you sell it to therapist, 195,000. So that puts those at right at a value of about 65,000 a piece. Now, uh, the laboratory. This is kind of our first one that gives us a lot of options to craft at and make some decent money. Now, because of how flea market fees work, whether you do or don't have Intel 3 matters quite a bit here. If you don't have Intel 3, the best craft you can do is the slings for Kadura, followed by bleach, and then even Aramid if you're getting your packas uh, for 26,000 or less, which you can get them off fence for that usually. But if you do have Intel level three, you're better off crafting bleach. And you can make quite a bit of money on this. Uh, I shoot for about 15.5 on soap, about 13,000 on the alkali, and then 13,000 on the sodium. Once you get that, sell your uh, your bleach for about 15,000, 15.5 if you can, and you're gonna net uh, a hefty 50,000 rubles per hour, about 20,000 per craft, since the craft is pretty quick for me with my higher skill, it pushes that 50,000. But all the other crafts, the Cordura, the Aramid, the Ripstop, all of these will make you money. They'll net you between 25 and 30,000 here, as you can see. But keep in mind the PACA, you gotta get these off a of fence, which I get them all the time, 26, 25, sometimes as low as 20,000. And then if you're gonna do scav vests, you need to make sure you get your slickers for less than 10,000. Barter those with Jaeger, get your three, then turn that into Ripstop. Now, one last craft that's worth mentioning in a shampoo, 
you know, again, get your soap for about 15.5, but if you're using these, your used up water bottles, again, one out of 60s, craft them into shampoo, sell those, you'll make a decent amount of money doing that. And then the last one I'll mention is the grenade case. I do this with my empties, uh, my empty fuel cans, you know, get your nuts for 26,000 or less, bolts for 25, uh, metal parts for 17,000, and then just sell the grenade case right to therapist. And that has been the best use for metal cans as I burn through them. I do these crafts every couple of days. Now, over at the workbench across here, this is uh, this is gonna be where you can make your most money with the least amount of work. And thankfully, even in spite of all the changes, wires, I'm gonna start it right here, has been one of the best crafts that you can still make money with. And the wires craft applies whether or not you have Intel level three, it's the top craft right now. Shoot for under 20,000 with your power cords, which you can see them as seven, 16 or 17,000. That's where I bought all of mine for was under 20,000 last time. Uh, and then shoot for 15,000 on your wires on your sale. Without Intel 3, you're gonna make about 20,000 rubles an hour. With Intel 3, uh, you're gonna be able to push 45, 50,000. Now after that is circuit boards. Uh, this is always a great craft because it's super simple. Uh, get your DVDs for 12,000 or less and then push uh, 14, five or 15,000 on your printed circuit boards and you'll be sitting right around 35, 36,000 rubles an hour. Now, the last one I wanna bring up here is a great simple craft again, it's capacitors. Uh, for whatever reason, capacitors are really high priced right now. PSUs have been selling for 35, 40,000, but you can get them as low as 30 or less. We'll keep 35,000 here for the price though, but capacitors for 15.5, and pretty simply, you're gonna be making 22,000 rubles an hour. Now you can see if you come in here and let's say we put this down to 30,000, um, and we won't even push the capacitors up, which you can do, I've seen them push 20,000. You know, just getting the, the PSU for 30,000 pushes you to 27,000 an hour. If you push your capacitors to 18,000, now you're talking 31, 32,000 an hour. So you can see how little changes can make a big difference in how many rubles an hour you're gonna make. Well, that right there wraps it up. Uh, the flea market changes with the uh, the fee has really impacted what you can do in the hideout, but you can still make money. It's not gonna replace anything else, but all this little money ever over a period of time, it adds up. And even with us getting towards the end of a wipe, you know, I don't know when wipe's gonna be, but it's not gonna be too much longer. Uh, that little bit of cash can help, especially if you're not high level and you're, you're still struggling to make money or you're getting beat up on customs by, you know, high level players, because that seems to be how the end of wipes usually go. But we'll keep doing these. Hopefully they're helpful for you guys. Hopefully you like them. But with that, we'll sign off. I wish you the best of luck in your raids and we'll see you in Tarkov.